Now to the frustration in Phoenix. Five months after a serial shooter began attacking, killing seven people, police have few leads and no motive. On Thursday, city officials called a news conference to say they're not even close to solving the crime. Maria Villarreal reports. The attacks have all taken place at night. People targeted at random in front of their homes. Nine separate shootings in primarily low-income Latino neighborhoods. The suspect, police believe, also Hispanic. On Thursday, officials increased the reward to $75,000 for the man being called the Phoenix Serial Street Shooter. No one deserves to worry about their kids being shot while they're in the playground or whether they're going to get um, attacked while on their way to the grocery store. The string of attacks began in March. Horatio Pena is among the seven people killed. You think about him every day. He's always with me every single day. Nancy Pena's brother worked with disabled kids and had just returned home when he was gunned down in mid-June. She says the fear is still real. I want to take back our sense of security. I really do. He has us all in lockdown. People know something and to not have the right tip is very upsetting. Residents of Maryvale, where six of the shootings have occurred, say the problem is that many people living here are undocumented. Some Arizona law enforcement agencies have taken a hard line stance against illegal immigrants, raising the fear of deportation. We don't trust the police. They're not going to call the police. If I'm illegal, I'm not going to call the police. Let me be perfectly clear. Anyone who comes forward to assist with this case, whether a witness or a victim, their immigration status will not be considered whatsoever. In the latest attack, the gunman fired at a man and a four-year-old boy. This time, no one was hurt. But even though it's been over a month since that shooting, Fernando Oliva says he and others are still on edge. Carry my gun everywhere I go. So he gets caught, it's not, you're not at peace or at rest. Phoenix Police Sergeant Jonathan Howard says the lack of leads weighs heavily on detectives. Desperation, exasperation, uh, shock. Over and over, we're seeing innocent victims harmed. Uh, as police officers, that's what we've sworn to protect people from, and it's, we're finding it very challenging. I feel like I'm being followed. It's, just, it's insane how much he's taken, so now we're victims as well. Do you think other families feel that way? Absolutely. It's not the same anymore. He's changed all our lives dramatically. Residents here remain tense, convinced that until there's a breakthrough, the serial street shooter will strike again. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Mireya Villarreal, Phoenix.